pure D1 versus D1 and one master. It's all right. Pretty fair teams, I would say. We are not looking for early aggressions, so the tier power trough is okay. We can start tier, be a little bit weaker in the early game, and then have a much, much stronger late game as a trade-off. It should be quite nice. With Janna, we're looking to scale anyway, because she's an enchanter. She is strong late game too. We get a free mana for proc. Okay, they might be leashing or fake leashing, doesn't really matter. I really don't like fake leashing, by the way. I think it's stupid, you should just play the lane instead of giving up pressure. Because now they can't really contest level 2, can they? But yeah, hello for the misfortunates over on YouTube as well. Live streaming on Twitch right now, link in the description. So, join if you can. But um, this matchup, we're both hyperscaling pretty much. However, this Misfortune build, it's so ridiculously strong late game. It's unreal. We just keep up the pressure. Get to level 2 here, they can't really stop it. What are they doing? Trading into us level 1 versus level 2. This looked like, judging from their body language, this looked like their jungler was there. Which they weren't. Reward. Okay. I tried to get a Q bounce, but obviously it didn't work. But yeah, I don't mind playing the slow at all, especially against Renata. She has pressure early game. Try to punish with a Q, but range disadvantage. Huh. Got it. Yeah, we just play it slow. Let the wave push out. It is pushing slowly but surely if we don't make it rain too much on the wave. So aim for Renata here. Minions don't take damage. Means pushing, uh, it's pushing more reliably. Um, they don't want to push this though. Okay, so maybe we just shove this into tower if they play it like that. Which is difficult right now. I will do it. They're acting as if the jungler was right there. It's crazy. Okay, now we get it into tower. They can't stop it really. All right. It's far so good. Now the wave will cleanly reset. They can't hold it anymore. I don't want it to be in this position, because that makes us a little bit vulnerable to Udyr. Now it's 100% pushing towards me, no matter what they do. Unless, of course, Janna throws a tornado in the wave. Then it might not push. Okay. No tornado in the wave. And we won that trade quite hard, actually. Missed out on the minion. Udyr right here, which is perfect because the wave's coming towards us, so we don't need to do anything crazy. We can just chill. Yeah, just relax, sit back. Let the jungler waste their time. It's all right, we almost fully stacked our mana for band even. Promising tornado. But yeah, we can farm under tower, more or less. We couldn't really stop there hard crashing the wave. Because of the threat of Udir. This is the worst gank I've ever seen. Because it puts me in a lose-lose situation. If I join this gank, I just lose a billion farm. I lose more farm than the kills would be worth, ever. Yeah, now I gave up some minions to push this as fast as possible so we get a good base timing still. Um, yeah. Looking good so far, we're slightly ahead in CS. Oh, uh, this is not the thing I want, I want this. Um... And ideally, 
We just go quadruple longsword. Just the most damage right now. Mm, it would have been okay to go Warhammer Longsword, don't get me wrong, but I like Quadruple Longsword a little better. The next one's already working towards Immortal Shield Bow, and chances are we get a full Mana Mule next base anyway. And if not, we can still just upgrade components, so it's alright. This is, by the way, not what I want to do. I want to get Infinity Edge um, after Lord Arms and Bloodthirst up later. I'm gravitating back towards the more aggressive build path. Or itemization or item item order, pretty much. I can never walk in there. It's a double stack minion wave. This is a good gank though. The wave isn't too big. There goes the flash. Pop a potion. Yeah, we couldn't really turn on Jinx because Uder is too threatening. Let me just keep up the pressure right now. Also setting up the minions for our potential Q bounces. Okay. Not enough AD to last at that from that range. Minion died, no crit. Uh, we have access to the ER combo. Especially when Jinx is that low, it's really dangerous for her. She might be bait, uh, baiting us, most likely, actually. Okay, we see the river sufficiently, I hope. If I don't waste my E, I can react to Udyr's gank going around the corner. If I use my E though, I need to back off until it's off cooldown again. Yeah, they're pushing this in. We can maybe trap them with R. Wouldn't be too far fetched, depending on how they play this, of course. Okay, they are not stupid enough to do this. They're smart. Did she base or did she just fake it? I didn't watch. Okay, judging from Janna, she based. With her mid lane, so we can make sure Renata does not hold. I feel like ulting this. We get an extra wave under tower, I get my mana immune base, we get a good back timing ourselves because they can't really pressure our tower with an extra wave coming in. Oh no. Okay, this was warded. Warded as hell. So our back timing just got a little worse, but not by too, too much. Yeah, we have a full mana immune now. This item, 74 attack damage right now. 35 base plus 39 scaling, and it will still get higher because it's not fully stacked, obviously. It's so really powerful. Now we got through the worst power trough. Now we just start running away with stat advantage, really. She gets a plating or two, but we get all this farm because the cannon taking so many tower shots to die. Including the cannon itself. Yeah, perfect. We're in very good shape here. This build really powerful with the scaling and en uh, enchanter support. Okay. He just solos. That's nice. This Wukong is doing good work. Mm, 
No reason to flash there. Only now do I get my ults a little bit too late. I hope Jinx would be more greedy. Well played by her. Okay, um, Herald's bot lane is a little bit annoying, but the tower will live at least. Yeah, they challenged our dragon very skillfully. Well played, enemy team. Gotta try again later. Swave's on the tower, we can actually just base. And we should, because Jinx is basing right now. This is, yeah, just clear vision and disengage. If they try to do this, then that's very brave of them. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, okay. Actually, the enemy team has priority right now, but if, if we hover, they don't know where I am exactly. They don't know where Katarina is. They gotta respect. Yeah, exactly. Alright. By the way, the secret to being successful with Misfortune don't upgrade your boots. Sit on magical boots and don't spend a dime on them. So you can dump all your money into attack damage. Okay, yeah, both teams still fighting for position on that dragon. I can hold bot lane by myself, it's not a problem with infinite mana, and... Okay, I needed to stop her from running me down while I'm slowed, I needed to do that. Good catch from her. Yeah, I couldn't risk her running me down with her Renata behind her, buffing her up. So I had to ult to disengage. Yeah, getting caught by that W, really bad for me. My. They are taking that dragon now, huh? Yeah, the ball is zoning us. It's their dragon. We can't stop it. Well played by them. Get dodged, my friend. That wave is very good, but it's a slow traveling projectile, so you should always be able to dodge it on reaction unless you're like trapped in a corner or something. Okay, how much can we do to that tower? Mm. Jinx spawning in two seconds. We can take it actually, yeah. Nice, alright, that worked out for us. Dodging that Orianna ulti. Absolutely crucial there. First tower. Hmm, yeah, we finish Noon Quiver and sit on the gold. I mm, actually I'll just buy a long sword. No reason not to. It's very likely we get 1.2k on the next base anyway. And this long sword is working towards Lord Dom's. So yeah, we, we skip Bloodthirst until after Infinity Edge. It's harder to play that way because we don't have that much room forever. But it is the superior way if you play it well enough. The damage is so much higher. Losing farm mid lane. T 
Tima should cover top. Jinx is right there. She has Kraken, we need to be careful. And she's by herself, that W doesn't do much. I have lifesteal. Can't really walk up if she's under tower. Taking tower shots would be quite bad for me. Should be fine with Jenna's disengage, but we are not. Nice. Yeah, now with the Mana Mean Transformation, we deal so much damage with auto attacks. It's crazy. Just E is also triggering this and Comet and its base damage is very powerful for poke. Jinx doesn't have lifesteal yet, so it matters still. Once they do have lifesteal and stuff, you want to hold on to your spell though. Just in case you need it in actual fights. Ah, misclicked. Cost me two minions. You don't want to be too aggressive here. One more wave, then I just get back for my shield bow. So we can keep up with items. Actually, I have ulti ready, I have 700 mana left, and my team is very aggressive. So joining them seems right. Good thing I did mid lane. Don't want to give free towers to them. Yeah, we're there in time. They can't afford to stay. Okay, not enough damage to kill from that range. Um, and I can take Herald. I can. Ooh. Oh no! No 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 no! We need to reset. We can't challenge Harold here. It's theirs. Effectively. It's a very yeah. It's just just give. I'd say. Okay. Okay. I didn't want to just base while my team stands there because this is like the worst case scenario in solo queue. You base and your team then fights with big numbers disadvantage. This is what you must avoid at all costs. Oh, okay, they get Herald mid lane and the Dragon. Third Drake for them. Yeah, they're playing the macro very well. They're actually punishing us for killing Katarina there. By just taking the entire map. We need to step up our game. That's just gone. There's no way we can contest. We're just not in position. We missed our base timings. Oof. Okay, rough game. Very intense, actually. Could just base for last whisper. Hmm. Staying on the map is also quite nice. I have ulti. Almost 10 CS per minute. Who 
but you're so tanky. Yeah, I need that last wisp badly. Once I hit IE though, Udir will melt. Baron. Rough call. I, I don't agree. But we have to follow, of course, because else the call won't get any better. Okay, okay, they're not calling Baron. That's quite nice. So they're pushing a mid lane. I can't rotate there because else I just risk dying. Yep. Can I go through there? Yes, I can. Yeah, I don't. This is so overextended. If I go there, nah, it's too risky. I get jumped on and I'm dead. She's so greedy with her ults. It's crazy. I get she does that she wants to make a big play for her team, but if you want to force it like that, it's most likely not going to work. Yeah, awkward macro. Invading their jungle was so risky. I'm very happy my team didn't die there. If I stay here, I die. So I won't. <laughs> Yeah, we need to be very, very careful. Okay, just ults out. Yeah, okay, if Wukong recalls and Teemo is in base, I will recall too. Everything else is too risky, and this last Whisper component will go a long way against this Udyr. Look at him. Alright. But again, if this game is a little bit slower paced, that's perfectly fine for you if you play this build. Because, again, you just outscale everyone. It's not even close. Jinx is catching up in farm, slowly but surely. Both teams fighting so hard for position. It's very risky to overstep. Drake and 40. Yeah, this is the important one. We don't want to give them soul. Wow, Oriana. <laughs> Third time's a charm, huh? Okay, let's not get Jinx ulted. See where she's ulting. Life's still back up as much as we can. Yeah, Drake is theirs. So we couldn't defend that. They played the early game too clean. <sighs> Ooh, is that a catch? Oh dear, it's unlikely. Oh, it reached. We will escape though. They could take Drake so easily, by the way, because of mid lane tower advantage. That's the main thing. They constantly get jungle control and vision. Or 
Dom's finished. And the next item, Infinity Edge. Oh, Teemo. Oh, Teemo. That's so risky. Oh, that's so risky. And of course he dies. So unlucky. The greed, the greed. They're not on it yet. Walking through there is risky. If this is warded and Orianna is standing right there, we just die. Keep farming, keep scaling. Again, we are already very strong. 300 AD, armor pen and stuff. Crit. But once we hit Infinity Edge, nasty. Okay, Baron is just there, as I assume. They have way too much movement speed with that stupid dragon. Soul. I can't ever ult them, at pretty much. Very unlucky disconnects. Okay. <sighs> I need to save my ulti. I had to use it earlier because I couldn't risk them running us down. Or did I have to use it? Probably I just made a mistake by ulting early. I just panicked. Yeah, I get it. Or Teemo, I don't mind. Those Kled engages with Cloud Soul are so incredibly dangerous. It's very easy to overstep here. On accident, or by, by accident. Are they going for it? They are. I can't step here if this is worth it. Jana, please. <sighs> too much, too much, too much, too much. I shouldn't have tried to contest. It's theirs again. I mean, we had numbers disadvantage with Katarina not being there. So going in there is just pure end. That was a, such a big misplay. I should never have gone there in the first place. Oh, trading Baron for Inib plus three kills. That's so hard in their favor. That's seven kills. Janna needs um, heating reduction. I can't buy it right now. I need Infinity Edge way more badly. Oof. Okay, okay, okay. We're creeping towards 400 attack damage, by the way. 373 already. Yeah, with Baron, they can crack open our base. This inhibitor doesn't matter nearly as much as Baron. Not even to mention all the gold they got. Elder and 40. Yeah, they just run away with Soul. Udyr with Cloud Soul is incredibly disgusting. I have ulti. I 
Yeah, they crush us. Their engage is way too strong. Cloud Soul plus uh, Udyr plus Clad, it's just way too much. Yeah, we we didn't... We couldn't afford to give up that uh, many early dragons. I think that's really what cost us here. But yeah, they finished now, so GG. Most damage in the team, actually. Slightly. Yeah, yeah. even against Teemo's poke damage. Teemo usually tops damage charts because of his shrooms and poison and everything. Um, but this build, very high damage, however. Against Cloud Soul... <sighs> Against Cloud Soul, it's just a little too rough. Yeah, they played this too well, but honestly, I've had a lot of fun playing this game, and if every solo queue game would go like this, then League would be such a nice game to play, because it was a highly competitive game with uh, lots of ups and downs for both teams. Could have gone either way, but I think giving Soul away and then that int play at Baron was the final nail in the coffin. A lot of a lot of things to learn from this match, actually, but yeah, um. This is the build I uh, play on my main account if I need to scale. But uh, yeah, if you want to see a different Misfortune build, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.